Welcome back, everybody. Today, I decided to do something a little different and do 10 things you should know about a Suzuki Hayabusa before you purchase one. The very first thing you should know is that the kickstand on these Gen 2 Hayabusas do not go forward when they are all the way down, and they will fall over as they idle in your driveway. You absolutely must take your kickstand off, modify it, make it move forward three or four more inches. And what that will do is give it a nice sturdy surface so when it's idling, as you're putting on all your, your riding gear, it's not going to just fall over. This is a very common issue, and I highly, highly recommend doing it. It only takes about a half an hour to do. Some basic tools, uh, air, air supply, a grinder, grind out a little knot, put it back on, and you'll save yourself a ton of money. Number two is the insurance on these. Insurance is, well, astronomical. If you use anybody other than State Farm, and I'm, I'm calling them out because that's who I use, they go by how many cc's your engine is and not by being a super sport bike. So technically, if you see in the background, the blue bike, so that bike costs more for insurance because it's 1,840 cc's instead of the Hayabusa, which is 1,340 cc's. Also, if you're younger, be prepared to get a rude awakening. I was quoted anywhere from 2,200 for one year insurance through other companies, as low as 1,200. And when I went through State Farm, the insurance was $150 every six months. So drastic, drastic difference when using a, a, a good company versus someone who considers that a super bike. Number three is the governor. In year 2000, all motorcycle manufacturers came together to an agreement known as the Gentleman's Agreement, making all motorcycles have a governor at 186 miles an hour or 300 kilometers an hour. So you could be racing your buddy on a BMW 1000 RR and no matter what, you're both topped out at 186 staring at each other. No one wins. Number four, the factory tires. The factory tires on these bike do not last long. 1500 miles and my back tire is already in need of replacing. I can probably get another thousand miles out of it, but that would be pushing it. So be prepared to go through some tires. Number five, this is an old school hot rod. It doesn't have all the bells and whistles as the 1000 RRs do. It doesn't have the wheelie control. It doesn't have the stability control. Only thing these have is ABS and that's optional. So you're riding by the seat of your pants, be prepared. Saying that, the wheelies on this is hard not to do. Even if you're playing around, the front tire wants to come off. Yeah, I, I, I've learned if I do plan on goosing it, to throw all my body weight on the tank or moving my body weight forward to prevent the wheel from coming up. But with that motor in it, it just, yeah, it, it pulls up and it's really hard not to do a wheelie on it. Number seven, the reputation and style. These have a great reputation of their own. No matter what bikes are out there, people know the Hayabusa. And with that said, people will more gravitate to your Hayabusa and nobody wants to run you heads up in a race. Number eight, the price. Because these are old school hot rods uh, and you do not have that fancy electronics all over them, you can pick them up fairly cheap. Uh, you can be able to get a newer one, a year old version like this one was, and get it for two or $3,000 under factory price. So I think this was fifteen five brand new, and I picked it up for twelve five. Uh, number nine is the amazing acceleration. You can go zero to one hundred and eighty in less than a quarter mile, and it's under nine seconds. Need I say more? Which leads me to my last and final point: it's a danger to your license. 
these beautiful machines are dangerously fast and you can rack up points on your license way too easy. You can be stuck in traffic behind a whole bunch of other people and a cop will pull you over just because it's a Hayabusa and give you a ticket for racing. It has happened to me. I was stuck behind the truck and yes, I got ticketed for racing even though I wasn't doing anything. In the eyes of the law, cop shows up in court, the judge is going to take the cop side no matter what. So there we go. There's 10 things you should know before buying a Hayabusa.